All right, all right. What trigger man? Back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Hey, it's Friday, so you know what that means? Rush day. Everything gotta go. So, rush job. Here we go, here we go. Mercedes. Um, damage on the quarter panel. I think we had some scuffs and scrapes or something right there. Rear door was damaged. This door was replaced. Uh, there's no glass in here. So that's why we put the paper up. Um, and blending into the fender. So gonna do that with the, this will be my final video before I have to give this gun back to the SATA rep. So doing it with the SATA, with the eye, the eye pattern 1.3. So this will be it. And then we have to say goodbye. Tucci. Yeah. And then what we have here visiting, the world's shortest goddamn painter. <laughs> Tucci. This here is my guru, my mentor, the one who took me under his wing, and now I surpass his ass. <laughs> hey, but yeah, so this is gonna be the last video with this eye, so we're about to get to it. Boop. All right, getting set up with my LPH 400. LVX cap, 1.4 nozzle. I was doing some sealer and my base with it. But yeah, so that dude there, man, that came by the shop, that's my boy Tuna. I actually got my first job as a real painter uh, because of him. Um, I was working as a prepper for a little bit. I went to apply at a different shop for a prepper position. And um, I saw him in there, we started talking. And they, we actually realized that I saw him at an iCar class. We talked to the iCar class years prior to that. And, um, you know, went to talking and I told him, you know, I would want to be a prepper. And he's like, man, you were at the iCar class for painting. Like, can't you paint? I said, yeah, I paint, you know, but I never really took on a position as a painter. I don't want that responsibility yet. He's like, man, I'm going to get you in here. It was him and another dude painting. Um, the other dude had been screwing up. Long story short, man, he got me my first job as an actual painter. I was nervous as hell. He like, man, don't be nervous. I got you, man. Put down some bass now. Yeah, he's like, I got you, man. And I'm talking about, I was nervous, nervous. Like, I felt like, you know, just pressure. Like, just to make that transition from a prepper going into a painter. And, man, long story short, my first job ever painting. Uh, I remember that first week, my paycheck after taxes. My first after taxes check was 1700, I think $1,730 or something. And I was like, damn. And I'm looking at him like, hey man, this this for real? Like, this legit? And he's like, he's laughing because he's used to that kind of money. You know, he's been painting a long time, man. He did this in high school. And um, yeah, he was like, yeah, man. And I made like 90 something thousand that year. My first year as a painter with him. And we've been cool ever since, man. 20 plus years and um yeah yeah we worked together at a couple jobs and you heard me say a few times on the channel that my buddy that works over at jaguar he was a lead painter at jaguar for maybe decade 12 years now he's doing his own thing open his own shop plus he does rvs and buses and everything right here in broward county any of you guys in broward county man fort lauderdale surrounding areas if you're looking to um get into the trade like he's always taking you know needing people to come out with him do those rvs and help if you want to learn you know hit me up he's somebody to know man good dude i remember a couple videos back on that adhesion promoter video the bulldog when i said these dudes at the dealership had um you know told me some wrong stuff to use that wasn't adhesion promoter and i told you i called my boy and he's like what'd you use and i told him i used what the other painters told me He's like, man, don't listen to them dudes, man. Call the paint rep. Don't never listen to no other painters. He's like, dude is wise, man. You know, he's been around. He's been painting a long time. Way longer than me. And um, he's experienced that stuff, man. So, yeah, that's my boy. Shout out Tuna. Tunchi. But yeah, so back to this here um, Mercedes in this Seda Jet. X5500 it's about to go down we about to get ready for this clear doing my final blend on this fender here but definitely so far man the X5500 gets a, gets a thumbs up from me two thumbs up on the eye 
zoomed in show you guys the um, atom gauge 35 psi again that's a little higher than what I normally spray on my satas I run the satas at 32 psi normally 31 32 right there and um, that's ideally what works for me but I had to bump it up a little bit I'm assuming because it's the eye but yeah the gun definitely gets two thumbs up for me two thumbs up I got nothing negative to say about it I got people in the comments and messaging me privately saying that you know they had the gun it's leaking it had leaks uh, I hear everything from the gun is too heavy it's too bulky the fingers can't fit around the gun like man I don't know what you <laughs> I don't know man you know how people are man you know I don't believe it I really don't believe it you know say they're just no nah, no nah. unless they done something stupid you know leave some clear or something in the gun let it get hard and they got to scrape it out and you never really get all that stuff out something like that or over tighten it you know there's a like a little nylon type um, seal behind the nozzle which is on my 5000 as well I mean unless they over tightened it and messed up that gasket somehow but you know then that's that's user error most of this stuff man so I don't see anything wrong with it anything at all and people saying it's too heavy I didn't even weigh it like I said I think it's it's got to be exactly the same weight as the 5000 maybe a couple ounces off or something but it has to be about the same so I don't know man some of you guys need to get out go do some push-ups or some curls or something man if a spray gun is too heavy I don't know man go get you a 50 60 pound dumbbell and curl that sucker 15 times and then pick up the spray gun and let me know what you think you did spray gun feel like a damn feather after you drop that dumbbell but yeah I got no complaints with this one man so this will finish up the little series I was doing on this spray gun this will be part three um, guys coming back this week to pick up the gun and prices seem like they vary um, I know online I saw it for like twelve hundred dollars and then guys will hit me up let me know they had it here there spray guns direct a couple other links people were sending me you know like 700 800 so prices will vary if you're thinking about getting you one just um, shop around check out spray guns direct just don't go get no replicas of you know the ones that um yeah a replica of this if you're gonna get a, a copycat get a copycat like the vivo or something you know then you know what you're getting but make sure you don't buy one of these like a alibaba or aliexpress um say the jet x5500 don't let them get you like that man <laughs> don't let them get you like that if the price is too good to be true on a gun like this most likely it is too good to be true and you buying a shanghai replica it even be stamped on the side you know made in germany and all that just like this gun you know just like the originals but man don't go for that don't let them get you like that man don't let them pull a bait and switch on you do my little blend and that's gonna do it man that's gonna do it this vehicle actually left the same day damn owner's crazy man had me pop in the mirror popped in the door handles he put all the weather stripping, the belt molding, all that back on. And the vehicle went that same day, which was yesterday, Friday. Today's Saturday at the time of this voiceover. So this is what we're looking like outside. Came out good, man. Came out real good. No problemo. LPH 400 and the Sata Jet X5500 teamed up. And knocked it out of the park. Pretty clean. Came out clean as well. Good deal. Good deal. Customer came. Picked it up. Checked it out. 
opened up the doors everything was good to go yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and upload this today I had this up for you guys saturday afternoon into the evening this is the little gasket here that i assume that people are saying it leaks um this is on my 5000 as well that gun is 12 13 years old i've been spraying with it no leaks so i take that stuff with a grain of salt man anyway this is your boy trigger signing off I ask that you would please like share subscribe please tell a friend and after doing so if you could please tell his girlfriend peace